much like the high-level bridge, it's one of those structures that makes Lethbridge, well, recognizably Lethbridge. A lot of people tell me when you see that building, you know your home. Now it's the end of an era. For the past century, anytime someone picked up a letter from their mailbox, they knew it came through this building, where Canada Post made its home for the past hundred years. But despite the fact that some things do change, like the manner in which Lethbridge will receive its mail, other things continue to stand the test of time. They started constructing and had it basically done by 1913. But with delays and everything, they don't officially formally open it until 1914. So the date stone on there actually gives a bit of a wrong information. And it is late in 1914 that the post office opens up. Delays also, of course, were caused by the First World War. After this downtown heritage building was erected, it changed the way Lethbridge operated. It actually sort of changed um, the business center as well. When this building was completed, it was actually the first time that the post office moved into a federal building in Lethbridge, which was a big change, and it's over on 4th. Now by this time we have cars and things so people can go further for their mail, but after that we slowly start seeing 4th Avenue develop as the business district as well. So it has a dramatic effect on that, and not just as a historic building, but in the growth of Lethbridge. 1920s Marquis um, Hotel is built just beside it and you start seeing Eaton's and other things along that road. So yes, it almost seemed to drag Lethbridge around the corner onto 4th Avenue. So what's next for this iconic building with the clock tower? There is an incredible thing called adaptive reuse. When we take historic buildings and we make them into something else. Uh, in the Maritimes they took one of their historic post office and turned it into their city hall in one of the, build in one of the places. I mean, that place would have amazing ability to be residential, to be business, to be community use. What it takes is some very smart architects and developers to see the potential there. Could you imagine what you could do with that building? I can't wait to see how it is 100 years from now. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Jeanette Rocher.